Hello, welcome to Sally Jack's TV Mom. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. If you subscribe, of course, uh, that is joining the family and I'd love to have you on board because also, if you wanted to get into the Christmas spirit, then I've got so much coming over uh, the next few weeks for Christmas. If you also press the bell notification, it will tell you, because I will have a, a vlog every single day, it will tell you, or tutorial, or whatever it is that I'm putting up, and it will let you know um once that has been put up because it'll it'll notify you but don't forget to subscribe give us a thumbs up i love to hear your comments at the bottom because if there's something that you think i could have done differently or better or you have an idea that you'd like to see me do or you've got some comments to pass on to other people about something then spread the love. That's what this is all about. Um, the other thing as well is if you do want to see me do something, make sure you also write um, in the comments below. And I always try and get back to everybody. Now today, um, it's really about um, what I've been shopping for because I've been on a big shopping haul this morning. Uh, that's why I'm a little bit late putting this uh, this vlog up. And it's about what I've been picking up for what I'm doing. Now, I haven't got everything because there's an awful lot that I'm going to be making. Um, but I'm just going to give you a few sh snippets, snippets, uh, of what's going to be coming up um, in the next few weeks. I don't know whether I'm actually going to tell you. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, but I'm going to be showing you what I've been buying. Um, so, and also, just because, like, it's the 5th of November today. If you're going out, then I hope you have a lovely time. But we had the fireworks on Saturday night, didn't we, if we saw that vlog. Um, but, of course, we're, we're heading into December. Now, a lot of people go, oh, it's not Christmas till it's December. And, yes, I, I kind of agree with that to a certain extent. But Christmas, the month, ends up being so short you end up losing time not being able to do everything and then Christmas has come and gone and you're like oh my gosh um I didn't get to do this I didn't get to do this I didn't get to watch that movie we didn't get to sit down and put our feet up because we just didn't have time so my biggest tip for you now and I've been saying it for years to family and friends and I do know that quite a lot of people at Ideal World uh, TV have started uh, following what I've been saying and it's really helped them is to get on board with it now start doing Christmas now. Now obviously that doesn't have to be decorations even though mine are going up next week. I always put mine up early and it's basically because of the time frame uh, that I have but the best thing that you can do is write your Christmas cards now stick a bit of Christmas music on have a bit of mulled wine um, a mince pie why is that going to hurt you doing it in November then you don't have the stress of it in December also start buying your Christmas presents now um, I've got so much up in the loft that I bought in January and I wrote it all down in a list that I've finished my Christmas shopping I think everybody knows that by now also things like um, which I am going to be doing a vlog on Elf on the shelf all the little bits for, for for him or her whoever your elf is houses called snowflake all in the sale in january i bought absolutely tons of it in 50 percent off it's all back out this year i've just seen it between b and m and the range and of course they are cheaper shops but they're full price again whereas i've got all mine at 50 percent off now i'm not saying oh you know i'm the best because i've done that but it's just because basically i've got used to the years of shopping ahead of myself all christmas jumpers i got them all last year for Frankie Jack and I, I think I got Gary the odd one. He's not really into that, the wearing the novelty jumpers. But I got them all in the sale last year. And you can pick up some really beautiful ones. Like I think I got a Kath Kidston one. Um, I got a Jules one, which normally I wouldn't spend that sort of money on. But you get to buy the best ones because they're at 50% off. So get your mind into that sort of frame of working. So what have I picked up? today um because i picked up a few um <laughs> bit weird and wonderful things okay so here goes so first of all i've got some plant pots bit dirty they were outside these were from the range i've got one two three four five um five of those i'm actually going to be making a christmas decoration with those you're not going to guess what it is um but i am going to be making a christmas decoration but there's lots of things that you can do with plant pots believe you and me um so if you are wanting to follow me get them cheap you don't want to be paying any more than sort of 70p i think these were one pound 50 because they're a little bit bigger because i am going jumbo decorations these are actually for outside so if you want bigger uh, decorations for outside and you want to follow a tutorial that i've got coming up those are going to be something that you're going to want in your stash um the other thing is uh, wired ribbon i am going to be doing a tutorial on how to make your own bows not just a bow bow but a proper big bow to go on boxes 
to go on bags, to go on trees, to go on wreaths and, and how to weave it in and out. I'm going to be doing tutorials on those and the best ones to get are the wide ribbon. Now, if you know somebody that's got a card for Costco, that's the place best place to go and get it because they're Kirkland, can you see, Kirkland's signature and you get massive reels. So how much is on this one? 50 yards I mean there's so much of it and that means you don't you don't get too sparingly with it but I'm going to do some awesome bows with this one and I'm telling you sat, sat with um uh <laughs> it's not very good today <coughs> still got my um cough as well I'm back to the doctors tonight um, this, um, I did a bow, I don't think, I think it's in my car, um, while I was sat talking to, uh, one of my friends and TV colleagues, uh, the other day, and it took me two minutes to make the bow, and it's really magnificent, but you can mix ribbons as well, so get different colours, but make sure you get the colour for your colour scheme, of course, you want to follow a scheme all the way through, unless you are just going multicoloured. Also, baubles, I mean, I've got these ones, as you can see from B&M, £2.49 for small ones, but you want all different sizes i'm going to show you one of the most magnificent wreaths uh, so effective uh, that you're going to be able to make um so you're either going to want some heavy duty cardboard you're going to want some mdf for it or you're going to want pool noodles you know the woggles um but you're going to need bigger decorations than this as well you don't want glass you want as cheap as chips and if you're around the corner from G boone gate services in peterborough that home base is um closing down in December and they've got all their baubles packs of them for a pound so it's well worth going in there and checking it out I bought tons on Saturday great lights great Christmas trees but they're running out quick so you want loads and loads and loads of these again with your color scheme I'm going to be doing one for my mum in red and gold and I'm going to be doing one for myself in gold. I would like to have a go at a multicoloured one this year um, but it's whether I've got time or not because I've got a lot of decorations that I'm going to do for you. Uh, the other thing, if you want to make some really lovely sweet treats for the kids there's some really good ideas with candy canes you're going to need those you're also going to need some christmas puds you're going to need some gold and red wrapping paper now these are all different things that i'm doing uh bells i've also got some uh ribbon uh wired ribbon again i've got some glitter uh big tubs of glitter this has been reduced now in uh, the range to 4.99 i've got the white the silver and the red now. Um, I probably should have got the green. Oh my gosh, and have I got a treat for you. Um, the other thing that I'm going to be making, you want a Terry's chocolate orange. You're going to want some Maltesers. You're going to want some white chocolate. Now, the best place to get that from is Tesco. Do you remember I told you about Miss Molly's? And then you're going to want some icing in red, ready, uh, the, you know, the ready, uh, ready to roll out. You want some red and you want some green. You can pick that up in any tesco's now that is going to be one of the most luxurious things uh to eat that you're going to be able to give as a present and looks absolutely awesome you're also going to need a, a bit of mdf <laughs> Yes, because we're going to be doing a lot of stuff with MDF. Um, but if there's anything that you've seen, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff with wood. And it's just whether I've got time to be able to do all this. But I know that what I want to do outside. Oh, the other thing as well. And I would hunt round quickly for this. And that is, I've got some, but I think I've left it downstairs. Red velvet material. I'm going to show you how you can decorate outside with it, making it look absolutely gorgeous. But remember, you don't want upholstery one. You want the actual just uh, cloth fabric that you'd make um, clothing out of. And you want it as cheap as chips. Because, of course, with it being outside, it's going to get ruined. But you're going to want a lot of it um, if you want to follow some of the uh, decorations that I'm going to do in to make it look so beautiful, so classic, so stylish, very Americanized, but very sort of traditional deluxe. I'm going to be doing that as well. Um, so that's red velvet material. Now, that depends on what kind of red velvet. I'm going to go for the brighter red. Um, but, of course, you can also go for that lovely sort of whiny red. Um, and... Uh, what else am I going to be doing? Oh, there's so much. Oh, by the way, my, my um, 
my curtains for here are going to be coming up uh, soon. So I'm going to I'm going to film that going up because I can't wait for those. I keep coming into my dressing room to get ready because because you're in the summer, um, it doesn't matter whether you've got the light on or not because nobody can see. But when it's winter and it's like five o'clock at night and you're getting into the bath, I'm having to run in like this because I've got no curtains. It's not good. So those are going to be done. Um, I'm also going to be making a huge Santa sack. I'm going to be making huge presents. Um, there's so much that I'm going to be doing. Also, I'm going to be vlogging about, um, uh, you know, uh, tips and tricks of what to do with kids. Um, I've got stuff coming up on Disney. Um, so make sure you subscribe because there's a lot going on. But I've just given you a few teasers of what you might want to buy if you want to follow some of the stuff that I'm doing. Oh, spray. Um, Plastico is amazing. But you can also get sprays from um, places like Poundland where they can get car spray in chromes. And they do great silver and great gold only for a pound a can. Now, as long as obviously you've sanded down that surface and you're spraying up and then yacht varnish it, you know how much I love yacht varnish, uh, then you're going to do, honestly, if you follow some of these, if what it is, is I get an idea, I look at an idea and then I change it and then it goes higgledy piggledy in my head and then I have a vision and then I've just got to have try and relay that vision I never draw anything it's just what comes into my head um so <laughs> let's hope if if I can do what I am thinking then um that honestly that there's going to be some really great Christmas decorations coming your way that you could easily do for your house but most of them are going to be for outside the other thing as well is, as I've been uh, on my haul today around doing the shopping, I also went into Primark and I'm going to be showing you uh, in a minute because uh, I took a few videos while I was in there. I didn't want to talk because I felt a bit of a wally when I was in there, but I videoed a few bits. So I'm going to be talking around some of the bits that have come out in Primark, but some things that I really recommend um, that also you go for. And some of those are their towels, but you have have to wait till you see what which ones um they've got some christmas slippers they're really gorgeous not bothered about those because i've already got them but i just wanted to show you but their nails are fantastic so if you love your nails for christmas i've also got that coming up in this video so stay tuned uh, and don't forget to subscribe oh my gosh i just love i feel so um privileged to have you on board and um i'm so looking forward to uh doing christmas with you um this year because I've never really done it this kind of thing on YouTube um, before so I'm really looking forward to it um, I do know that a lot of people struggle um, around Christmas um, it's such a happy occasion and it always has been in my life and it's always been a major major part of my life um, getting a bit teary now I'm gonna probably struggle a little bit this year because of my dad but you know this happens in life and I always say life's like a the circle of life, isn't it? Like the Elton John song. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, it's going to be a struggle, but I'm going to keep myself occupied. And obviously I've got to put all my attention into Frankie Jack. So I do understand if you've lost a loved one and it's going to be very, very hard. Um, cause it is, <laughs> but we get through it, but we've got to, be here for who's here does that make sense so i've got to be here for my mum uh family frankie jack gary i say always say gary last but he, he means so much to me i know we joke and we've had that joke but um so i'm gonna be doing a lot over christmas so uh yes i will be jovial and not beat but in my heart i will be missing my dad greatly um because he was such a wonderful man anyway i'll get off that because I, I don't want to be teary-eyed with you um let's have a look at everything that was in primark don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to comment below and also don't forget to subscribe i'll see you later so in Primark, having a look at the towels, and these are the best towels, I believe. They're the luxury uh, towels from Primark. Now, you need to go for the ones that say luxury. You've got a whole host of colours. They are really reasonably priced, and I'm telling you, they are exceptionally gorgeous. They feel like a very expensive towel, but you can see the prices that I'm looking at now. Um, whole range of colours, like I said. Um, 
this was in the Burnley Primark, so a little bit sparse on some of the colours. Uh, this is the colour that I've got in my bathroom. Uh, this is the one that I use. I absolutely love because then it doesn't show false tan and things like that. But I just saw this one as well, which I thought was absolutely beautiful. Now, you've got the bog standard ones that they already do. Um, and these are them. Um, not these ones. These ones that I'm going to now. Um, so this is just the bog standard brand. But you want to go for the luxury because those are definitely the best. Now for nails, um, again, for the price and value of money, you've got so much, so much to choose from. And if you use these correctly, you can use the glue that they give you, but I do recommend you get uh, the wipe-on glue with a little brush applicator and you can pick that up from Boots and it lasts you ages. Uh, but once you stick these on, you've got um, a set of nails that should be lasting a week to two weeks. And they're absolutely fabulous. You can have all different shapes, all different colours, all different types, gloss, matte, diamantes. Um, you can have uh, Aurora Borealis. You can have marble. Um, you can go for the stiletto. You can go for, oh, it's just unbelievable. Their nails are superb. I also had a look at the Christmas slipper selection for you as well. And there's some really good ones this year. I do love the Grinch. I've already got my Christmas slippers, but I just wanted to show you some of the collection that they had. And the Mickey Mouse. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up and press that bell notification. See ya.